Okay, so this is going to be down and dirty, nothing fancy edited video real quick. Um, I normally don't do these. All my videos are just footage of my drone flying. I'm using my GoPro 1. That tells you how little I actually do this for. I haven't used this thing in a long time. So the reason I'm making this video today is they're with the release of the Anafi FPV. There's a lot of people that obviously don't want to buy the FPV package because they already have the Anafi. So they're wondering, will the older cockpit glass versions work? Um, should I just go buy a third party? How will it work? How won't it work? You know, what's the difference? So just to go over kind of the Parrot stuff real quick to answer the questions I'm seeing pop up all the time. This is the cockpit glasses version one. This came out uh, with the Bebop 2, or if you just bought the kit that had the Sky Controller 2, most of them came with uh, this version. This is the original FP, FPV or, you know, virtual reality goggles they had. So, just to look at it real quick, the first thing you notice is it's super bulky. It's got a fair amount of weight to it. Um, if you look here, there are no buttons on here at all. And there's also no adjustments. So if you look here at the lens, you can see it's just the two eyepieces. There's nothing in here. So, and the way you put your phone into it is you got to pop out this whole cartridge. And then you would have to open, this thing's a pain, open it up, you know, stick your phone in there, close it up, put the phone in there. So... And like I said, there was no way, there was no adjustments on this drone. So if you got it in here and the image wasn't lining up the way you wanted it, what you had to do was go into the settings with the Sky Controller 2, and there was a way to actually move left eye or right eye, move the image around to line it up a little better. So it was time consuming. You know, you're killing battery time while you're sitting there fiddling with it. But that's how they did it. So... Then they released the Cockpit Glasses version 2, which came out with the Parrot Bebop 2 Power and the Parrot Mambo FPV kit. Um, so, I don't technically own a pair of the Cockpit Glasses 2, but these are the Viotech Spectres. Uh, there is also a Rytech is another brand. Uh, it's like the VR, VR Go. They literally with very few differences, are the exact same goggle as the Cockpit Glasses 2 goggle. Uh, the only difference with the Viotech Spectres and the official Parrot Cockpit Glasses version 2 is that these say Viotech, they don't say Parrot, and that they're blue instead of black. But everything else about this goggle is exactly the same as the version 2 of the Cockpit Glasses. So you pull it, obviously it weighs a lot less than this, it comes in a nice carry case, pop it out, um, it's all collapsed up, you just pop this out, get the straps off of it, and you just fold this back, pop it out, and there you go, and then hook your, hook your straps back up. So if you look at this one, uh, like I said, you've got... That's, you put you lay your phone down on here, you clip it in. Now, and I forgot to mention on this one, if you, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on the video, but there is a screen here for seeing through. So with the old, uh, when you were using the cockpit glasses version 1 with the, with the Bebop 2, you could switch to see through the camera and it would actually, like goggle view, you could switch between the drone and the goggles, so... It would activate the camera here, and the camera could actually see through here. Um, on the version 2, uh, your camera is going to be sticking out right here. I'll just show you real quick. So, same thing. So, if you switch to goggle view, it's using the camera, which is open right there. Uh, the big thing with these, uh, the version 2 as opposed to version 1, is first of all, if you see here, there's two sliders these move the lenses so if you put them on and it's not lining up exactly how you want it to you can adjust the lenses uh, this way to um, be able to see the image better and then the second thing that the cockpit version 2 had 
was the, the, the capacitive touch button. So there was one button on top that if you look here, there's a little toggle right there. And all it does is when you push the button up here, it taps the screen. So if you're, so say you're in FPV mode, like on, on the Anafi, um, you've got the two images here. It's just touching the screen right up here at the top. So if you touch the top of the screen, you can see the menu pops up and you touch it again and it goes away. So that was the version two, uh, the, the version two goggles. Uh, the Bebop 2 Power and the Mambo didn't use this button. It just came with it. Um, but the new ones that they've just come out with, the Cockpit Glasses version three, look physically exactly the same as the version two. Um, they're the same folding style, the same lens sliders, Everything here is exactly the same with one exception. This one only has the one button on the top, which has the toggle right here to touch the screen. On the version 3, there's a button down here on the bottom. So this one's on the top here. There's one on the bottom here, which has a second toggle, which would be right there. So you would push on the bottom. The second toggle would touch the bottom of the screen, and that's how you switch between... Uh, the viewing through the drone as opposed to viewing through the goggles So the big question is like everyone asks will these work for the Anafi? Technically this will work for the Anafi. This will work for the Anafi pretty much Google Cardboard Will work for the Anafi with the exception that uh, Using the Sky Controller 1 or anything like it which doesn't have any of the buttons just simply means when you go into FPV mode, you're not going to be able to pull up the menu for switching between the flight modes, nor are you going to be able to switch between um, the, the drone and the goggle view. So if you have the Cockpit Glasses version 2, or you buy the Viotech Spectres, or the Rytec VR Goes, which, like I said, the Rytec VR Goes are actually black, like the Parrot version of these. It just, this is blank right here. It doesn't say Parrot, like the official Cockpit Glasses version 2. Um, but both of those, or any, uh, Google Cardboard also has the, the button on the top, which touches the screen. Pretty much a lot of, I'd say half of these cheaper ones you can find on Amazon or eBay have the one button option. Um, so you'll, what that means is you're going to be able to pull up the flight, menu and switch between the flight modes. You just won't be able to switch between the drone. So for most people, this is going to be the easiest option. I got the this for $5 on eBay. Uh, and some people may comment, notice you can see the screws sticking out here. That was me. I pulled the foam back because I actually bought several of these goggles. So I can, my intention is to remove the mechanics for the button up top and install it down on the bottom so I will have a modified version that'll have a button on the top and the bottom and if I get that to work uh, I'll probably post a video and show how that works later so I know I've kind of been rambling on I didn't mean for the video to go this long but that is what everyone's been wanting to know and asking about so you know just in closing again the cockpit glasses version 1 extremely big extremely bulky um, me personally I felt like these fogged up really easy if you were wearing them outside and it was not a cold day if it was an average day or a warmer day that these would fog up relatively quickly and you would get a lot of moisture built up inside here uh, like I said I found it to be a giant pain to stick the phone in the cartridge and then have to move the cartridge in if you don't have the phone sitting there just right you have to pop it out, reseat it, and go through the whole process again. Um, I just found it annoying. The cockpit glasses version 2 are great. Um, my issue is also that Parrot never sold them independently of coming with the Mambo or the Bebop 2. Which is why I think with the Anafi, we're never going to see the cockpit glasses version 3 available for sale by their, themselves. They didn't do it with the version 2. They only did it with the version 1 if you got the glasses with the Sky Controller 2. So, I think for everyone, you're going to have to find an aftermarket option or buy a pair off someone that gets the FPV kit that doesn't want the goggles 
for their own use. So, like I said, these Biotech Spectres are cheap. Like I said, um, I think some people are getting them for $8 on Amazon. I got these for $4.99 plus shipping on eBay. So, they're a relatively cheap option. You will get at least one button to access the flight menu. Like I said, you just won't be able to switch the view between the drone and the goggles. Uh, unless you modify it further as I am planning on doing with these. So, thanks again.